A good afternoon, Jacksonville and across the first coast. Look at the radar right now. Uh, we got storms towards our east. We got storm towards our west. I think that uh, kind of alludes to what we're expecting through this afternoon. Yep, more storms. I mean, all I got to do is look upstream and see what's coming at us. Well, once again, like we saw yesterday, we're going to get that westerly flow. It's going to uh, set up with the east coast sea breeze. And as we get ahead to about that three, four, five o'clock hour, well, here comes the thunderstorm. So when to be watching the sky, maybe you're going to head out to Orange Park there where they're already stuffing the bus. They're pulling up that second bus now. Yeah, that's going to be keep going on until about 7 p.m. tonight. But yeah, you know what? You don't even have to get out of car. You can just roll up, hand them the uh, school supplies, any of your donations, anything like that. But we are watching for those thunderstorms with that collision at sea breeze right along I-95 here this afternoon. A high about 95 degrees, so it is on the hot side out there with that heat index over 100 as we uh, look ahead over the next few hours. And once we get those storms, it should start to cool things off. But we do have those afternoon storms out here. Got some frequent lightning, even some gusty winds. I wouldn't be surprised if we do get a strong thunderstorm or two. Very similar to what we experienced here on Thursday, which uh, remember it's just 24 hours ago. Plenty of lightning with some of these storms, which uh, are going to work their way off towards our beaches uh, and really could even hug the coastline here with those storms hitting that sea breeze. High tide was at 7 o'clock this morning, low tide at 108. So coming up here pretty soon, if you plan on heading out the next few minutes out to the sandbar, you might be wanting to wait just a little bit longer as that low tide sets in. Here's a look at that future cast, though, 4 or 5 o'clock. Got those storms setting up, pushing across the uh, first coast, uh, really just pushing all the way out towards our coastal areas, even some lingering showers into southeastern areas of Georgia. And as we look ahead into our Saturday, well, plenty of rainfall, scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast on our Saturday, which is why we also have a weather impact alert. If you do have those outdoor plants here on Saturday to anticipate some scattered showers, some decent thunderstorms before that chance of precip really kind of tapers off a bit heading into our Sunday. So just remember, you know, two to seven o'clock heavy storms. What you need to remember, be weather aware here across the first coast. All right. Yeah, today stay cool out there, though. It's a hot one.